Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, June 7, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's English Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, FoodMarket.com is reporting Collier Wendell Roth Jr., chairman of OK Industries Incorporated of Fort Smith, and a 2009 inductee of the Arkansas Farm Bureau's Arkansas Agricultural Hall of Fame, died on Monday. He was 87. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to FoodMarket.com. Now, let's check out the markets. In the egg market, yesterday's National Shell Egg Inventory was reported by the USDA to be 952.3 thousand cases, down 5.5 percent from last week's figure and 3.5 percent from the same week last year. The shell egg market has been relatively steady heading into the summer months, a typically uneventful season. Breaking inventory advanced 3.7 percent to 257.6 thousand cases, with continued seasonal orders to the food service industry. Looking at poultry, chicken market conditions remain rather flat and basic in nature across most points of sale. Sources are monitoring the recent surge in heat relative for any potential to have lower bird weights occur. So far reports are inconclusive to that happening on a broad scale. Mostly all listed lines are adequate to handle spot needs. Cutlets and tenders are no better than barely steady. Dark meat is holding close to listed quotations. Wogs and whole birds are bouncing along and rated about steady to steady. Talking Turkey, summer-like heat patterns are occupying larger portions of the dialogue with our sources as of this morning. Some processors assessors are experiencing lighter than targeted bird weights, while others expect it to become an increasing factor during slaughter in the coming days. Offerings of frozen drums are in high demand and export players are paying sharp premiums as compared to their domestic counterparts. Moving over to red meats, in the boxed beef market, a bit more of a negative undertone is now observed for spot market boxed beef. Another round of discounts is noted for both chucks and rounds. Middle meats are also seeing some price reductions applied to them for quick ship opportunity. Ground beef remains under downward pressure as demand is presently falling short of clearing current production. In the boneless market, undertones for fresh 50s are steady to weaker as supplies are still available. Fresh 90s continue to vary region to region. As of this morning, imported beef markets seem some bidding and offering on fatter items. There is a fairly wide range between buyers and sellers' ideas on East Coast spot 80% mixed trimmings, and trade has yet to develop. In the pork market, the hog market is expected to struggle again today as a discounted cutout was paired with thin to negative margins and lower wholesale prices yesterday. Direct sales are anticipated barely steady to weaker today as the lower wholesale prices continue to exert pressure on values. Terminal markets are rated steady to slightly weaker. Thus far, hams are rated mostly steady, bellies are steady to slightly weaker, trimmings maintain a mostly steady to slightly firmer tone as product thins, availability of fresh pork is growing, and retail pork products carry, carry barely steady to weak ratings. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide, featuring a side-by-side Mexican-Spanish translation of the English text. Call 800-932-0617 to order your guide today.